Yo, in the last series video I showed you how we got end portal frames in Vanilla Survival on Protec. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the f- Yeah, that was pretty cool, but a lot of stuff has happened in the falling block department since then. First of all, we got our hands on the spawner item, but I didn't make a big video about it because the process was kind of similar to how we got the end portal frames. The video would be boring, so I didn't record the entire thing. I only made that stupid video of me using the spawner XP farm. We also got the petrified oak slabs, but that's boring, let's continue. But Jake, yeah, and the title says that you obtain command blocks, what about them? Oh, yeah, yeah, command blocks, right. Generally speaking, command blocks are a bit more tricky to get as falling blocks than an end portal frame or a mob spawner. That's because, well, they don't exist in the world and never generate. So how do we get them? Well, it's a two-step process. First of all, we need to do some block state corruption to even get the block in the world, and then we have to apply the thing called generic methods to get them as falling blocks. So basically, just get the block and then make it fall. I'm briefly gonna explain both steps. Step 1. Block state corruption. Before I say anything about this process, let's first ask, what the fuck is a block state? It's a more general word for types of blocks. So, for example, here we have a hopper block, but this hopper can have different states, right? It can be unlocked and facing west, it can be unlocked facing north, it, it can be locked facing down, and so on. We call these block states, just variations of a block. Alright, back to the block state corruption. First of all, we need to understand how Minecraft stores block states in the memory. Considering we are talking about a game that is running on a digital computer, it's not really surprising, they are stored in arrays of bits. Each block state has its own unique sequence of bits that represents it. For example, Anvil is represented by those 13 bits. Water has those bits and Command Block has those 13 bits. Have you noticed anything interesting? Well, if we combine the first 4 bits from the anvil with the last 9 bits of the water, we'll get command block bits. Great, that's great, but how do we do it? <laughs> to simply put it, we need to drop an anvil into water in a very specific spot in a subchunk, while an async observer line is blinking in a very specific place in the same subchunk, and that subchunk needs to be using this very specific block state palette called the registry palette. It's a major oversimplification. If you want more information about it, you should definitely watch Myron's video. He explained everything in much more detail. Anyway, this technique that uses cutting bits from two different blocks to create a different block is called word tearing. And by using other different and very specific word staring recipes, we can practically generate any block we want, including those that should never appear in a normal survival world. If we do word staring in this position, by replacing a grass block with a grass path, we can create a repeating command block. And if we land a concrete powder inside of a fire in this location, we can get a structure block. And here we have what is, at the same time, my most and least favorite setup. If you replace a top part of a double tall grass with an upside down facing blue shulker box, you can get a barrier block. Generally, this part is relatively easy. <laughs> obtaining a command block in the block form is actually way easier than obtaining, for example, the end portal frame item. The real challenge starts when you try to get it as an item. Introducing the generic method. Before I start explaining the actual generic method, I would like you to understand that it took me well over an hour to come up with this explanation, because this is literally falling block on crack, but I want the explanation to be at least somewhat understandable. Anyway, to put it simply, for this process we need two async observer lines, alright? Let that sink in. Having one of them already allowed us to do some crazy shit and now we are doubling it. We also need a piston that is pulsing in this very specific spot, as well as a pallet of illegal blocks and falling blocks down there. So basically what is happening is that when this piston is pulling these blocks, it's actually processing them one by one. Nothing truly happens uh, at the same time in Minecraft. So in this scenario, this slime block here starts moving first, 
So there is a tiny bit of time when this concrete powder is actually floating. Uh, a couple microseconds at most. And because we have this async line running here, it is constantly updating the sand, like hundreds of thousands of times per second. Uh, so since the concrete powder is floating, it can create a bunch of falling block entities. Nice. But hold on for a second. How on earth are we going to get a falling command block? When and how is the block going to swap? The concrete powder has to be replaced with a command block somehow, right? With the end portal frame, that was simple. When the sand was creating the falling block entity, the stronghold just conveniently generated the end portal frame inside of it. So we got the falling block swap. How do we replace the concrete powder with a command block? Here we have to once again do word tearing, but in a different way. Once again, we're going to tear bits from two different blocks to combine them to create a new block. But now the bits that represent the blocks are going to be different than before, as shown on the screen. Why is that? Because the subchunk is using a different block state palette. Before, each block was represented by 13 bits, now it's just 7. Let's just accept it as a fact, I refuse to elaborate. Once again, watch Myron's video if you want more details. So now, in this scenario, if a purple concrete powder gets replaced by air, and a second async line is running here, we have a chance of getting a command block in this position, because now those bits correspond to a command block. And if we are lucky, that will happen while the concrete powder is also creating falling block entities. So we should get a falling command block. Of course, sometimes this will happen in a wrong moment and will unfortunately end up with an accidental command block that we'll have to destroy, but oh well, whatever. Headless pistons exist. Alright, enough theory. Let's see how we got it in survival. Alright. Oh boy, let's pray this actually works. Oh shit. Um... Okay, I guess it resets. Uh. What's up? Oh, something bad happened. Mm, and I can't really tell why. We definitely didn't update suppress. Oh, that's not good. Though, why? So, it looks to me like if uh, the invisible chunk setup didn't really work. Worth pulling this down into copy or, or local and like debugging it there. I guess. Yeah, so clearly something went wrong. Fortunately though, me and RPM immediately found the issue and it's actually kind of hilarious. So believe it or not, it's actually because I touched some grass. Uh, so basically, when I flew into this area and we were like preparing the setup and everything, I realized, oh, I'm gonna need a lot of grass for the repeating command block setup that is like over there somewhere, right? So I'm like, well, I'm just going to mine some grass from here. There is plenty of it. What can go wrong? Um, which means I basically removed a bunch of grass that uh, was naturally generated here. And yeah, that was enough to completely scramble the, the predictability, I would say, of the population of uh, this chunk here. Which basically means that some of the grass, like the actual decoration grass, was placed a bit differently. Which means the randomizer that uh, basically decides where everything will be placed was a bit different by the time we got to the water placement here. Uh, which means the water didn't generate here and I, I don't think I have to explain everything. Basically, if the water gen doesn't generate here, the setup fails. Um, that was actually one of the issues for the setup. Uh, another thing, well... Basically, another mistake of mine was that I forgot to remove this ender chest, which means that uh, we would have lost the safe states um, regardless. <laughs> uh, and another issue we found uh, was that uh, this frosted ice generates here every single time we reload this chunk, and uh, because it's complete darkness here, well, not really complete, but let's just assume it's complete darkness, basically the frosted ice can't melt, and on instant tile tick this will instantly crash the server, basically. Uh, so there were three separate issues that we now have to fix. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't touch grass. We fixed the setup, it's time for attempt number two. So on this autosave, I'm gonna flick the lever to turn off the autosave detector, I'm gonna flick this lever and fly in. 
And hopefully we're gonna get the chunks pop on attempt number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was our save. So flick the lever. Oh, it looked it looked correct. All right. Yes, we have an yeah we have an invisible chunk. Yeah, nice. Awesome. Uh, save state machines look like they triggered correctly. Um, yeah, it looks fine. So I guess uh, I'm gonna walk over to the lever. Uh, yeah, you can already walk up to the lever. Okay, uh, basically whenever you're ready, you you flick the lever and walk across, and tell me. Right. Go 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 go. Oh shit, we got it! <laughs> nice! Oh, Alright. Okay, so am I going over to you now? Yeah, you're going to me now. Yo! First attempt! Right. <laughs> nice. Try every time. So, basically, I guess it turns out if you actually have cluster chunks, it works basically every single time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, RPM, I'm, I'm gonna wait. Uh, I'm gonna wait for you until we get the uh, 40 command bro. block. Like, I want you to also be here. Dude, this is huge! We're literally, ah! <laughs> we're literally, we're, uh, we are literally about to get a command block. Awesome. Oh, I can see you, yeah. Alright. Okay, so... <laughs> I get the best view. Okay, so, three, two, one. Literally nothing? Ah! Uh, fuck! Inst instant fall! We forgot to turn off, turn off instant fall. Oh! <laughs> Okay. Uh okay that that is that is reasonable. Uh okay I'm going to I'm going to fly to the to, uh, to the button. Uh We completely have more animals? For, completely forgot about that. Do you have okay. more anvils or do you uh, need to make some? Uh I think I have anvils in the like backup materials up here. Yeah, I have backup anvils. All right. Uh they can face any direction, right? Uh okay. Uh yeah. The, uh, this one is unblinky. Bottom one is unblinky. Oh, yep, right. Okay. Let's go. Anvil. Okay. Anvil. Uh, did it, did we break? No, we did not break. Uh, nope. Anvil. Anvil. Anvil? Anvil? What? It's blinky blink. It's blinky. Uh, now we bricked. Oh, alright. Please, I just want to get a command block in survival. Oh! Oh, it's a log. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited to, like, uh, b b because I saw the anvil pop off, right? Uh, did we break the observer? Uh, nope, it's still gone. Okay. Uh, log, okay. I guess we created a pretty good uh, wood farm. Wonderful. Yes. Best wood farm. Bruh, just like create a command block already. Okay, I'm just gonna be flicking the lever and you're gonna be the one checking if it breaks or right. Does the anvil have to be, have to be facing a correct direction? Uh, where are you tearing it at? That's uh, part of the well, data part, the right? Top the, I think it takes the top as the anvil. So it. Oh, and the, so then it would matter, the yeah. Area. Hey, let's go! We have a command block. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Ooh. All right. All right. Command blocks so and going straight to screenshots. Holy shit! Next one is chain command block. Chain command block. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, the end of this line should be blinky blink. Yeah, it's blinky blink. Uh, so now, yeah, RPM, you're gonna be the one checking for the for it breaking. And now I'm gonna be standing here catching the shulker boxes. Oh, got a shulker box. Oh, yes.
Hey, we got it! We got it! Chain command vlog! Oh! Yo! Alright! <laughs> Alright. Uh, wh what's next on the list? On the shopping list? Uh... Barrier. Yes! Finally! Okay, so, uh, once again, you're gonna be standing there. Uh, it, it, basically the same end of uh, the acing line, right? And I'm gonna yeah. be standing uh, all the way here, placing uh, blue shulker boxes. Oh, that's interesting. How did this piston manage to, like... Oh, never mind, it's a pi <laughs> Double-headed piston, let's go! Okay, this is going straight to Myron after we finish the setup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this may take a while. Oh, wait, I, it has to be downwards facing, right? If a piston doesn't trigger, then uh, it's generally good news. The items are, like, flying everywhere. I mean, anything line is still blanking. Uh, come on, come on, barrier. Come on, little barrier. I'm honestly surprised we got uh, the chain command block so quickly. Like, that was a fucking speedrun. Yeah, run. that was... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially considering uh, it took less time than the other command block. We are literally fucking playing creative mode at this point. Like... <laughs> 18 uh, yellow flowers and uh, 9 uh, red flowers. It's a really good flower farm, I guess. Yeah. That uh, sometimes yeah. produces barrier blocks. <laughs> yeah, continue. Like, we are definitely getting some, well, uh, like, wards tearing, because, like... Yeah. Double-headed pistons and stuff like that, right? And the fact that the observers are breaking is good. Are we literally this unlucky? Uh... Yeah. And the setup is slow. <laughs> we got it! We got it! Yes! Oh. Yes! 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 Yo! Yo! Barrier! Oh, finally my favorite block! Yes! <laughs> hey. Okay, let's go. What's, what, what's next on the list? What's next on the list? Uh, Yo! Next on the list is... Uh... Says <laughs> Falling Under Portal. Next on the list. Falling Under Portal. Alright. You don't... Oh, no, you do have them walls down there. Okay, cool. Oh, we are actually getting packets. At least I am. Oh. Yeah, I, I was for a second. Well, because it, it was it was going into a new chunk. You always, at least, yeah. I, you, at least I always get packets for the first few seconds of a new chunk. Dude, <laughs> the barrier took so long. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I start trying? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Um, F4. So I want to see a couple things. First of all, like, uh, do we have a sand block in this position? No. Do we have fire here? No. Okay. You know what? I I, I think it I think it works. I think it works fine. Okay. It's... Whatever. Uh, I'm just going to just like right click the sand until it works. Because, because I have like. I I I have a keybind to disable both rendering and uh, updates at the same time, to disable uh, basically disable a uh, client side entity lag called key. If client side, if that's if that is enabled, will we still see the falling nether portal or no? Um, no. Well, okay, can we'll have to disable it in order to see it. Yeah. Rendering definitely has to be on uh, if you want to see. Oh, shit, we got, we, got we got it! We got it! Oh <laughs> my god! Let's Minecraft go concept shit posting in survival. Let's go! Are you recording? Let's right go! Now? Oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> we got the shit posting. Let's go! Okay, so what's what's next on the list? Repeating command. Oh, re next. repeats. Um. Okay, sure. Uh, uh, so I actually have to remove some of the chain command block setup. Uh, RPM, can you like get rid of all this shit that is like laying on the ground? Yeah, I will try. Uh, don't burn it. Like this is the worst thing you can do. Uh, just like, I wasn't going throw to it, uh, throw it out. Throw it out. Okay, so this is the repeating com command block, I assume, right? No, this is the repeating command. Oh, that was for the normal command block, right? Okay, uh, let's see if we have Blinky Blink. Yeah, that is Blinky Blink. 
Do we have blinky bling down here? Yeah, we have bl blinky bling down here. Okay, uh, RPM. Uh, can we like continue? We are kind of racing time. Shit. I, I, oh boy, I love this. Falling another portal, yes. Uh, okay, so where, I'm gonna on, like, figure be, be like, uh, spam right clicking and uh, left clicking this thing. I find where the. Uh, uh, the async, async line is here. Is. Uh, the, 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 like, right in front of me, there is an observer. You have to, like, right click to see right, if it is. exists. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, just tell me whenever it, like, breaks. Like, you're gonna spam right click this observer all, all the time, okay? Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, this is what I was gathering grass for. Yo, we got comment block. Yes, actually two already. <laughs> we, are, uh, we are literally <laughs> trying to get the, the, the last one. Oh, yes, we got it! Oh my gosh. Nice. <laughs> oh boy, what's next on the list? Screenshot. Two of them in there. Uh, what's next on the list? Uh, structure block. Oh, structure block. Okay, uh, so this is where I have to rebuild some uh, some setup. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. I, I, I need to, like, focus on the building the setup. Uh, what do I actually need to remove? I need to remove this, 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 for some reason. Oh, this actually can be any solid block. It's so fucking weird watching command blocks in survival. Yeah. Yep. Survival. I don't think you have to elaborate on why it feels cursed. <laughs> uh, so this dispenser has flint and steel. Oh, the async line. Uh, where does the async line actually have to connect to? Oh, here at the barrier setup. Yeah. So I have to destroy part of that. I actually should destroy like all the tile entities. Like, tile entities are known to be like uh, crashy when async line updates them, so like... Oh, I was like so confused. Why can't I like go through this block? Yeah, because there Why is a barrier in here. Okay, uh, RPM. Uh, this is the async line that you are now babysitting right here. Yeah, so you are babysitting this. Uh, I'm here uh, doing the funny. Doing the funny. Can I log on? No, no, no. <laughs> the sheer terror in JKM's voice. <laughs> How can I not be in terror after hearing something like that? <laughs> Considering my past experiences, I have no idea what the fuck is happening. Oh, okay, we definitely got some water tearing. We ran out of flint, it's flint and steel already? How? I'm literally about to run out of uh, black concrete. Yes! Yes! We got it! We got it! Structure block! Way. Oh, structure hell yeah. block! Yes! Okay, so we, we have everything except for the structure void, which is like the simplest one. So, this shouldn't take that long. Do structure voids stop you from placing blocks in the same location as them? No. We can you just mean? replace it. Uh, the right one bricked. But, okay. Oh, uh, we have cobblestone. I actually... Uh, do I have a bucket of water? Uh, or just generally a bucket, so I can move the water around? Uh, because I the cobblestone have... is like a byproduct. Oh, I have a bucket. Alright. Okay, cool. Yeah, I would can... say I have six iron, which can get us there, but... Yeah, just yoink. <laughs> Let's not be British while we are doing fallen block. You mean British? British. Yes, um... <laughs> it's basically air with a hitbox. Yes, we got it, we got it, we got it. You got air with hitbox? Nice. Oh, cool. Yes. So, if it wasn't clear, we actually got all the block state corruption that we were going for. We got all three command blocks, structure block, structure void, and a barrier. So now it's time for the generic method. We did the chunk swap once again, so we got the second async line, and we started waiting. Uh, no, no. <sighs> Alright. There's nothing left to do, we can just try to do it. Oh, we already get a, got a, uh, a thing, right? Wait, why, why, why it. did it stop, though? The, the server's still kicking, okay. Oh, wait, wait, I mean... wait, wait. Oh, instant fall! We forgot to turn off instant fall. 
Oh, okay. Uh, once again, <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna quickly do it. So basically, a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, concrete powder just generated. <laughs> uh, excuse me, now the piston doesn't wanna retract. Oh, because this lever is flicked, right? <laughs> okay, now I can actually see that we are getting uh, falling block entities. Yay! Oh, we got a barrier. We got a barrier. Okay, so awesome, it's working. So, so it definitely works. All right, uh, now uh, you move. No, no, we we didn't get the uh, phone no. block. Uh, we just got uh, yeah. the word turning. Okay, so now I'm, I have to delete the barrier. It's probably the first time ever uh, anyone uh, anyone removes a barrier in survival. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, barrier. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we got rid of your uh, art on Kiwi or not. <laughs> I mean, you literally can see it regardless. <laughs> I love that you actually called it art. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I think I I get to build art on a uh, on Prototech now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. Uh, <laughs> that... It's good that you can use F3 to see the entity hitboxes because it would be really funny if you put like an Calling barrier block and you wouldn't even know it because you can't see it <laughs> yeah. before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that like, be like, uh, yeah, because this, this setup doesn't stop when it does a falling block. Like it just goes on it until it produces falling blocks and you would have no way to know where you got it. it but you got sad. some static barrier blocks, right? Uh, yeah, I think we got oh. like 10 already. 9 or 10. Yeah, 9 or 10. It's definitely, it definitely is word tearing. Yeah. Um, in the right thing. So uh, it's just it's a matter just, of time. It's just slow. So at some point I unfortunately had to stop recording and I didn't catch when we actually got the falling barrier, but oh well, spoilers, we finally got it after one and a half hours of waiting. Holy shit, holy shit, all right, <laughs> yes, <my> oh, <laughs> we have barrier. <laughs> right. Okay, let's not waste right. any time, uh, I'm like gonna move it over. Congratulations. I, I, I'm like just gonna send it. I'm just gonna send it. I'm just gonna send it over to like the end of the green chunk. All right. Uh, yes, this is the best fall. Oh, Probably. Yes. Oh yeah. my god. Okay, now command block. Uh, command block is uh, is it purple or magenta? So... It's purple. I think it's purple. Let me know when you're done with that, cause I I need to go to the bathroom. So. All right. Yo, RPM. Oh. Uh, look at this uh, cool item I discovered. That is, a, that is a wonderful item that you found. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we have barrier. Mm. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> I'm going to press I'm straight to my ender chest. Like, and never log on, of course. <laughs> yeah, never log on. You have peace in the game. Not to uh, hand it over to everyone. Oh, uh, we got accidental uh. combo. All right. So unfortunately in this part of the clip we were talking about some private stuff so I can't really show you the original audio. Uh, but basically what you are seeing here is the first ever common block that was destroyed in Vanilla Survival I guess. So we actually tried to get uh, the command block for like another half an hour but unfortunately we weren't that lucky so we had to give up for that day. Okay, um, so sorry to interrupt uh, but uh, like we need to communicate with RPM. Uh, I'm placing Please. the TNT. Yeah, let's delete some command blocks. <laughs> Dude, it's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> we are literally deleting command blocks in survival. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, ca shit. Ca casually destroying a command that block in survival. The dumbest thing ever. What? That was oh, my bad. My God. How did you I fuck it up? <laughs> I put your multiple TNT. Oh fuck! Perfect. I am so sorry. How did you fuck it up? That fast plays on. <laughs> I thought I turned that off, but that's. I am really sorry. That's my bad. I, I, I you really? Never mind. I don't trust anyone <laughs> anymore. My product of something else that everyone was trying to do. Okay. Um. I'm actually gonna. Yeah. RPM. Uh, you're gonna have to take over because I need to like help my sister and um, do other right. stuff for a bit. I'm gonna leave my recording though. Oh, we got a command block. Okay. okay so I'm just. 
you know what? I'm just gonna stand oh, here. No, so, 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 so I at least record the the phone yeah. block coming. Ah, oh, oh shit, shit, shit! Yo! Oh! oh Yo! Shit. Yo! Okay. Yo! Okay. Yo! Okay. Yo! 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 Okay. Yo! Okay. Yo. Uh, okay. Yo. Uh, All right. Um. That was easy. I go Welcome for like back. thirty seconds. Didn't Welcome even leave back. my my desk, and we get a command block. Okay, I get the screenshot. Uh, okay, so, uh, yo, RPM. So, can you like continue yeah. with the other falling blocks? Uh, here you have a shulker. Yes. And, and, like I think I think we can all agree that Prototech has now failed. This is now. <laughs> oh, Prototech failed a long time ago. Oh, yeah, this it's totally falling <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, it's completely fallen. Even command blocks are falling. <laughs> We already got it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not the falling block. Uh, like yeah. the the actual repeating command block. Uh, hold on, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just quickly delete it. Okay, uh, RPM. Now you are responsible. I'm actually gonna go help my sister. <laughs> All right. Oh shit! We got it. Oh my god. I can't. I don't know if you're still listening, but we got it. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> you're going to be able to help your sister, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's just not going to work. <laughs> yo. Okay. Uh, Next one. Uh, Which, which is the next one? The chain command Cyan? block. Uh, it's light blue, actually. Yo. <laughs> dude, we are literally... Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. What's that? Uh, you placed, uh, like, concrete powder floating next to an async of server line? So, RPM just crashed the server, and unfortunately we couldn't just normally log on after the server restarted. We actually needed spec to come into the area properly and basically rescue us. After he did it, we basically couldn't really do anything, we just decided to get the items and call it today. Okay, we have yeah, invisible thanks. chunk, we have repeating command block, and we have command block. Yeah, let me, let me just casually yoink the command blocks. Uh, let me actually make sure that the command blocks are, are, aren't gonna completely annihilate themselves when they arrived at the uh, at the end. I think we still have the barrier. Yeah, we, have, we still have the yeah. barrier. Uh, so I guess I also have to place... Um, some block here. Like, yeah, and that should be fine. Okay, so, command block number one goes on an adventure. Command block number two also goes on an adventure. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I am literally playing creative mode right now. <laughs> that's just crazy. Uh, that is just crazy. <laughs> oh, uh, chain command block. Oh. Uh, be aware, TNT. Yep. Hello. 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 I wish I could show you a bit more from that session, but this is literally the most interesting thing that I recorded that day. So, to summarize, we were waiting for the falling chain command block for well over an hour. We got a bunch of non-falling ones that we had to destroy, but you've already seen a bunch of those clips. That wouldn't be really interesting. So, spoilers, we finally got the falling chain command block, but at that point I was so angry and tired because of this entire process that I chose not to record anything for some reason. So unfortunately I don't have any footage of me getting the item, but I guess you can imagine how it went, right? So after getting all of the items, we did some mining of camera and now we have shulker boxes of them. This is actually my command block shop. I am selling a full shulker box of command blocks for diamond blocks. It's a pretty good price, I would say. Uh, I made some money. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of a joke, but whatever.
Alright, so that's basically it for now. Of course we didn't get the falling structure block or all the other stuff yet. That's because we first need to upgrade the setup so we don't have to spend two hours on a single block, as well as we have to fix some issues that can potentially crash the server while doing attempts. But yeah, that was hella exhausting. I sure hope I don't have to do falling block in a long time. Oh, who's that? Ah shit, here we go again.